Very good. All right, now, um, next is our um, public comment. And I have two on the public comment, which is um, two board members, uh, Jennifer Buddies and Jen Smith. This one is about the board of You're fine. <laughs> Just hang out over here. Uh, well, I appreciate the opportunity to speak during public comment, and unfortunately, it's my understanding it's the only time that we can kind of speak freely about the subject during the meeting. Um, I am speaking mostly because the chair of this board um, has complete control over ultimately what is set on this agenda. And I don't think that that is right. It's not written in statute or rule, and it's been the longstanding practice of this board. Um, Something I believe that was lamented from our own state superintendent when she was on this board. Who was um, state when you were on the oh. board, okay, not being the, the the then chair having um, unilateral say over who what could get on the agenda. So it's been a, you know a longstanding issue, um, and but there was a request to put something on the agenda today that was denied, um, despite. Um, that request, and it's not the first time that it's happened. Um, and so she's also at the, the chairs refused to add new business back on to this meeting. Now, I am not, um, despite multiple requests to do so, um, I'm not an attorney, but I believe that um, it is common practice and in state statute that new business should be um, allowed to be on the meeting, which is why. We're having to talk about this in public comment instead of during new business. Um, it's also unclear if we can call a special board meeting on any topic, despite having statutory authority to do so, because there are restrictions on what we, as a board, can talk about outside of an open meeting. Ironically, we are in an open meeting right now and can't talk about it because we were not allowed to have this discussion. Um, and frankly, we're barred from doing so. So to me personally, it's not about any one issue. This has been something that has been some, and, and I don't think anybody is surprised by this, but it's something that has bothered me for a very long time. I think that all of the board members should be able to have a say in what goes on the agenda of this meeting. And that has not been the case. And I don't think that that's right. And I think that the public deserves to know what exactly, how this agenda is formed and ultimately who is the only say and what goes on it. So I thank you for the opportunity to speak. Thank you. And Trent. Yeah, I just want to echo your own frustrations that I have about no, no business being on the agenda, um, why we are unable continually to get items placed on the agenda. And then also, you know, we have, like Jennifer just said, we have a statutory authority to call for a special meeting. But how exactly we do that is incredibly unclear. And so I don't know if I can ask questions during this time, but I'd really like to know, like, how are we, like, what is the process for calling a special meeting or for getting items put on the agenda? Like, what are the statutory authority of, of this board, if, if you know? That's, that's a tricky question. Uh, so the statutory of the board, authority of the board, is that a majority of the board can call a special session uh, and a special meeting of the board. Okay. So if, if it's to call us, I just want to point out the absurdity of this whole process. Like, we are not allowed to meet together or talk to each other in groups of more than, you know, two or three. And yes. we can't have a quorum. So, right? Yes. But yet we can't get together to have a majority to call a special meeting unless we're sitting in this room. So I guess maybe during this process we ask for Hey, we, we'd like to make a motion to call for a special meeting. I can't do that. However, I would say just say uh, I sure do appreciate the, the recognition of the chair. And I also, um, you did send me this. I'm sorry, I didn't hear from, from you, Jennifer. Um, but you did send me an email um, on Saturday night, or Saturday, I saw it. After Travis, yeah. Yes. Asking for something to be on the agenda. That did not qualify for this board. Yeah. So and then I, I guess if we reject or like I, I personally reject you know, your arguments and you know, which is you know, anyone anyone can look at was thoughtful, responsible, yes. appreciated, you know, but we disagree on that. So how what is the you know if there's a disagreement, like what, what happens then? Like 
how do we call the special meeting for all the meet outside of this board? And we have to have a majority call that meeting. So I guess I'm calling for it now. I don't know how to how else to get on the agenda without you know, new business. Like, I hope everyone can see like, how absurd this like, the situation we find ourselves in. Well, it does speak to how you establish a uh, agenda item through um, that is always typically done you know, through the chair. And I'm not aware, except for this, of a request for something that we didn't come to a conclusion that was. Um, That's why I'm asking again an open meeting so everybody can like see like how how do we have a majority of the board say we want a special meeting when we can't meet outside of right now. Right. So, that suggests that that isn't the way it's supposed to work. Yeah, possibly. Uh, maybe the attorney general can chime in on, of course. Uh, well, maybe I'll ask. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.